Welcome to MAT 1100 Online. You'll need to take some time this week to become familiar with our course. My Course is Course Materials. Let's explore the My Course is Course from the Course homepage You have several options from the top toolbar. We'll start by clicking on Course Home. I will post weekly reminders and important messages here. Upcoming events are also shown on the Course Home. Click on Course Content. On the Content page, you'll see the syllabus at the top. Click on Table of Contents. You can use the Expand Collapse option on the right to reveal or hide items in each cycle. The Syllabus module contains a copy of the course syllabus. You can also find the syllabus in the Begin Here module. Below the table of contents on the left toolbar, you'll see a link to Email Instructor. After you click on the link, click two more times, and you'll see the window below. Please add a subject so I have an idea what you're emailing about. This is the email you should use to contact me. Do not use my college email. Your message can get caught in the college's spam filter and I may not see it for several days. Review the syllabus paying attention to course tools, course grading, active participation, proctored midterm and final. There is a detailed schedule week by week included in the syllabus that shows the material to be covered each week, the assignments, and their due dates. Let's take a look at the Begin Here module. A link to the syllabus is included. The syllabus quiz is required. You must earn 100% on one attempt to unlock the unit discussions which are part of your course grade. You have unlimited attempts on this quiz. The first discussion, Introduce Yourself, Learn About the Syllabus, is located here along with an Ask a Question forum where you can post and interact with other students in the class. Click on the sub-module, How to be Successful in our course. This module contains the message that you're listening to now, along with the handout. There's information about proctor testing, the My Math Lab Materials folder includes information on how to get registered for our course, the Learner Support module contains links to college resources, and the Resources module contains handouts that will be helpful, useful during the course. Returning to the Table of Contents, the Weekly Chat Sessions module contains links to our weekly chats. The chats will be held on Tuesdays, 11.15 a.m. to 12.15 p.m. The first chat will occur on Tuesday, January 12th at 11.15. The chats are not required, but if you can attend, I think you will find them very helpful. The chats are recorded, so if you can attend, use the same link to access the recording. Click on, click on the link to access. I will also post materials to be covered in the chat before the actual chat begins. You might want to print this to use during the chat. This course contains five modules, five cycles, and a proctored midterm and final. The textbook for the course, Math Lit by Alme Foes, is organized by cycles. The materials in the My Courses course are organized by these cycles. Cycles 1 to 4 correspond to cycles 1 to 4 in the textbook. Cycles 1, 2, and 3 are organized into two parts each, Part 1 and Parts 2 and 3. Cycle 5, Probability and Statistical Literacy, is also organized into two parts, Part 1 and Part 2. The material in Cycle 5 is not included in the Alme Foes textbook. There are handouts in this cycle, in this module, for the material. Cycle 1 is shown below. Each cycle module concludes an introduction, the learning objectives covered, and an assignment checklist. The assignments are listed in the checklist. Notice that some assignments are completed in My Courses, self-assessments, discussions, cycle activities, while other assignments are available in My Math Lab, readings, videos, homework, and quizzes. The looking ahead and looking back at self-assessments will help you to assess your current understanding 
of the skills and concepts covered in the module. Each cycle contains a learning activity that reviews key concepts. In cycles one to four, you will be directed to My Math Lab for readings and videos. In cycle five, the materials are included in my courses. Each cycle contains a discussion topic. You must complete the syllabus quiz with a score of 100% to gain access to the discussions. At the end of each cycle, cycle one, part two, cycle two, parts two and three, cycle three, parts two and three, cycle four and cycle five, part two, you will complete a self-assessment looking back, a vocabulary quiz, and concepts and applications evaluation. These assignments are available in my courses. Returning to the top toolbar, click on calendar. The due dates for course assignments are shown on this calendar along with other important dates, proctor testing, last date to withdraw. Returning to the top toolbar, click on submission review and notice you can access discussions and quizzes from the drop-down menu. You can access discussions from the drop-down menu, but it is better to access those through the cycle modules. From the top toolbar, click on communication and you'll see several options. You can access email from this drop-down menu. We won't be using the chat or groups option. When you access the email link, you'll be able to read and compose messages. I suggest using the email instructor link on the table of contents to email me. It's much easier to use. From the top toolbar, you can also review your grades. This is critical. Be sure you have purchased the Almay Foes textbook and the My Math Lab Access Kit. You will access My Math Lab from our My Courses homepage. Please read the materials in the My Math Lab module located in the Start Here module. Click on this link to access My Math Lab. Once you click link the course, our course, to our My Courses course, you do not need to log in separately. Once you've registered, you'll see two options when you click on that link. This will take you to the assignments and this will take you to the full course in my math lab. Also on this tab, the diagnostics is important if you're having problems with my math lab and you need to contact Pearson, they'll need information from the diagnostics. So here's what you see if you use the My Math Lab with Pearson eText Course Home option. On the left toolbar, you can navigate the course by selecting the content, cycle contents, homework, assignments, etc. If you select a particular cycle and lesson, you'll see the following. You can access the cycle readings from here. You can also get to your homework. In the assignments area, the lesson videos are included along with the homework and quizzes. The videos are not required, but many fi students find these helpful. On the assignment page, if you select quizzes and tests, you will see green flags next to the due date. Each of these assignments has requirements that must be met before the assignment is available. For Cycle 1 Part 1 Recap Quiz, you must score at least 60% on each homework before you can access the quiz. You have unlimited attempts for the My Math Lab homework and you can access the homework even after the due date if you have accessed it at least once before the due date. To access homework after the due date, click on Gradebook on the left toolbar Locate the assignment and click on Review. Each homework problem has several learning aids available. Here's a problem from Lesson 1.5. The variety of learning aids varies from, pro from problem to problem. The Ask My Instructor option will send me an email with the exact problem you're, having, you're working on. It is helpful for you to give me some information about what you're having trouble with. Note, there are no learning aids available on the quizzes. The chapter quizzes 
are based on, in my math lab, are based on pools of questions. So you may not get the same questions on each attempt. You have three attempts for each my math lab quiz and your highest score will be used. Proctor's midterm and final exam. If, proctor, if a final ex midterm and final exam are proctored and are given at Clearwater, Seminole, St. Pete, Gibbs, and Tarpon campuses, you must make, you can choose whichever campus is most, most convenient for you and you must make an appointment for your exams. Here is the link. If you live out of the area, you must identify a proctor who will be approved by the eCampus office. The information about identifying a proctor is included in the syllabus. The task must be completed during the first week of class. The link to the proctor testing website is given here. How to be successful in this course. In order to succeed in this course, you must keep up with the weekly assignments. I recommend printing out the weekly schedule in the syllabus and checking off each activity as you complete it. You should begin each cycle by completing the self-assessment, looking ahead in my courses, watch the learning activity in my courses, and read the associated materials in my math lab. Once you have completed these assignments, begin working on your My Math Lab homework. You should also read the instructions for the cycle discussion and create your postings for the discussion. Remember, you must complete each homework with a score of 60% to access the associated quiz in My Math Lab. I do not extend due dates, Monday night at 11 p.m., for quizzes, tests, discussions, unless there is an issue with my courses. Please print out the weekly schedule in the syllabus so you can keep track of the assignments. Please contact me by course email if you have any questions. I look forward to working with the class and I hope you will enjoy our course.